Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Klonoa. Last time we left off, we did- oh, I didn't mean to- whoops. Last time we left off, we started in the Kingdom of Sorrow, and that level wasn't so bad, honestly. That one wasn't that bad. I've heard horrible things about these levels, and they're apparently, like, painfully difficult and stuff. The first one wasn't bad, but I'm not enthused about trying the Forgotten Path, because... <laughs> There must be a reason people are 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 saying these things are nightmare. Oh, Dara. Oh, it's a board level. Murumrut, when you fortos yara, use rakul walama. Yep, you sure have. Serio? All right, I'm ready to get my ass beat. The Forgotten Path Deliverance. Okay, so it's a it's a board level. Wow. Okay, that was my my steering wasn't fast enough there. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna miss those. We just need to go ahead and accept that. Ooh, this music. Oh my god. Listen to this, listen to this, like, JRPG soundtrack. Oh my god, I just fell right off. I got distracted by hearing something my cats were doing to the right of me. They've been very bad tonight. Tonight's recording in particular, they've been very bad. Yeah, you gotta, like, preemptively steer for some of these. Because you, you just can't get over there fast enough. At least I got the Momet, so... That's... something. What are these, like, weird-looking eggs and everything were staring at here. Yeah, you turn a little bit slower than you would think. Uh-huh. We. And I guess I can speed up, which is something that I should keep in mind as well. Uh... There we go. Uh, wow. Winged gems. Whoa! Okay. Oh, we did it. I lost those gems, but... It's fine. I have my life, and that's what matters. Uh, gimme. Jump. Boom. Got it. Nailed it. The Mamets are mostly what I care about here. Not too bad so far. We're only two Mamets in, though, so things can get much, much worse. But so far, fine. Alright, let's just see. There's the laughing again. Yeah, there's the, the laughing again. Always with the laughing. Why are you laughing at me? So the voice... The voice kind of sounds like the laughter we hear a little bit, except, I don't know, the voice that we're hearing that's saying help me is maybe a little bit more somber, obviously. Uh, uh, oh, okay, nope. Off the map. Off the map, Didi Klonoa. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. We don't get the Memet doll, that's it. Uh, give me that, though. I will take it. So, we're getting lives back pretty easily here. So, it doesn't really matter if I die. I do like the boarding levels, probably because I generally have a pretty easy time with them. Makes it a little bit easier. So... Uh-huh. Oh, you can, like... Wow, I did not even know that was a thing. Sorry, I was distracted by... I was distracted by my, um, my, my, an my animation there. So you can preemptively ready your hat like that, and then when you jump, it'll pull your hat up. So I can, like, ready it, and then boom. Datupa! Oh yeah, I gotta do the style points. It's required. So yeah, see, we're, we're gonna be getting a life back, like, basically every time I die here, because I'm at 97 gems, so... Ooh, so this is, uh, not so bad. Let's- ooh, okay, I really don't think I deserve that. I think I deserve to fall to my death there, but... I'm glad Klonoa was spared that fate. Congratulations, Klonoa. I saved you. Cool little, uh, cool little area we got here. So let's preemptively start steering now. So we can make sure we grab that. Uh-huh. And let's speed up a little bit. 
I have an itch on my back needs scratching. So let's hit that up during this screen. All right, cool. We're doing it, we're doing it. Not too bad so far. I'm more so wondering if it's like the post-game stuff that people's talking about that is very painful and maybe it's not this, but it looks like we maybe have like one more level left, so <laughs> after this one, assuming it's not just a boss fight. So things might get uh, a little bit more difficult there. This is very tight. This area here. This one's pretty rough. Um, let's slow down for this. Let's just take it slow. This way we can adjust a little bit better. We don't need to go crazy fast here. We can take it slow. Because, yeah, this is very tight corridor here. Alright, we're good. Okay, and there's our checkpoint. Okay, now I don't have to be as scared. Uh, go away, please. Got it. Nailed it. Give a good flutter there. Okay, now, now we can speed back up. Missed that gym, but oh well. Checkpoint. Oh, uh, if I had fluttered, I, I thought I was going to make it, but oh well. If I had fluttered, I would have made it, <laughs> but I did not, so... But now we get a chance to grab more of these gems, because these are some fives, so... Yeah. Whoop. Okay, let's just jump there. There we go. Boom. Grab that. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh! This must be for the Mamet. No! That has to be the for, for the Mamet doll, though. It must be. Because then there's this other path over here... But I kind of steered into it at the last second. I wasn't really prepared for it. Okay, where is this taking me? Is this what I think? Uh huh. Come here. Uh, yeah. There it is. Oh, I, I tried. Let's jump off. I've gotta. I have to. I mean, we we need to get that. I can't run out of lives though. It would maybe if if I if I get in trouble again, it may be in my best interest to just say screw this and just finish the level to bank the ones I've got. And then we can go back for those Mimets later. Got it. Got it, nailed it. We're good, we're good. Now we just gotta get out of here with our lives. That is all six Mamet, uh, Mamets, so... I wouldn't mind getting some more gems, too. That one was a little bit risky. I do still have to play it kind of safe here. Ooh, lives. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, that, that, that does my heart. That does good things for my heart. Happy heart now. Okay. What in the nine hells is this? Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, that wasn't bad. Like I said, I don't normally have a hard time with those. Once again, intimidated by this level, though. Oh! Collected all Mamet dolls, go to Mamet house. Oh! Oh, that's it! Oh! Okay, Kingdom of Sorrow was not that bad at all. <laughs> I mean, I haven't done the boss fight yet. But, uh... You know. So, the question is, dare I? Because I'm sure I know what you're going to unlock for me. It's going to be House of Fun Part 2. Dare I? Hey, you weird asshole. This is potentially the biggest mistake of my life. Biggest mistake of my house of horrors. <laughs> uh Wait, 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 oh wait, no, 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 that, that's just the, okay, wait, no, that's just the thing. Okay, it's over here. Yeah, I saw House of Horrors, because the last one was called House of Fun. Oh, Chamber of Fun, sorry. 
Oh, Chamber of Horrors. Biggest mistake of my life, right here. Get ready. <sighs> Klonoa's Hurricane Challenge. This is gonna be like Final Vision in the previous game. Well, okay, well, not uh, already taking damage is probably not the best. Not enthused about this at all. Uh, get me up there, please. Oh, okay. Wasn't even scared. Uh huh. Get me up there, please. Get me up there, please. Thank you. See? Was that so hard? I really shouldn't have risked that. Uh huh. Get me up there. Good stuff. Whoop, that was a bad jump. Uh huh. Got it. Yep. Uh huh. We're doing it. We are doing it. We are. Up. Okay. Oh, I did not deserve that. <laughs> I saw that. I did not deserve that at all. Okay, well, we gotta... We're, we're a screen in. We're a screen in. We're doing it. Okay. Oh, God. It's not one of you. Um... Well, this is just for gems, but... I mean, I should probably do it anyway, right? Well, no, that was stupid. That doesn't work. Um, yeah, that doesn't blend. That doesn't blend at all. Um, how? So I hit you, and then if I could jump high enough to get to that one... But I... Can't. Wait, I'm interested. What happens if I... Okay, so I'm I'm wondering what happens if uh, I'm holding you and I grab something else and then you come back to- Okay, it just kills whatever I grab. Okay. I mean, do I really need these gems? No. Am I going to try and get them anyway? Against my better judgment, yes. Yes, I will. Um, so get me up here, get me up here. So like, if I'm not going for this gem... What do we need to do here? So, if we're not going for the gym, that is what I need to do. But if I want to get the gym... <sighs> it seems like I need to somehow get high enough to get you and then come back down for the Moo. Because if I jump, eat the Moo, then I can't do anything with you. Unless it's... Okay, see, it didn't come back to me fast enough. I thought maybe I could do that. But no. Oh, I can also just do this. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I could grab you that way. By standing on the crystal. Once again, don't really know how much that does for me. Uh. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, okay. I think that... I think that may be something there. So, stand up here, shoot you, grab you, jump, boom, yeah, there we go, hee <laughs> hee I can do it, look at me, and I got some gems for a reward, might save my life later, who knows, uh huh, get me up there, whoop, that was not enough, owie, okay, don't, don't die, Please. I kind of need my lives right now. Okay, there we go. Those gyms can take a hike. It was too much of a struggle to get over there. Okay, we're down to one HP. Can I get some heals? I mean, I got a checkpoint. No heals, though. Uh-huh. Okay, we got it. Boom. Oh, that was way too early. Yeah, that was my bad. Oh, we don't- yeah, that's right, we don't have lives here. That is right. Okay, never mind. I don't have to worry about this then. We're not gonna die from lack of lives. I just have to do the challenge. Which is, you know, not so bad so far. Uh, well, I almost did that flawlessly. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh, you dorks don't look very friendly. 
Um. Hi. Are you gonna come down? Thank you. Uh. Uh. Got it. Okay. So yeah, that's how we do that. Okay, drop on me. Thank you. So we do that, and then oh, I timed it wrong. So we have to like kind of double jump with you two. Yeah. So do that, and then boom. Uh, oh, I did it too late. No. Okay, I, I see what I have to do with you idiots. I just gotta actually perform it, which is all oh, easier said than done. Okay. I mean, once again, not so bad so far. There's probably still a lot of time. This could be like an hour-long platforming challenge, and I wouldn't know. Oh, the, the, the taking damage reset me there, but... Get me up there. Oh my god, if I just hovered a little bit longer. Maybe I should be grabbing one of the bombs and doing something with them instead. Instead of trying to do this weird shit. There we go. Okay. Progress made. That is another door. That is another checkpoint. We are doing it. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that's death. And I don't have a time limit either, so I, I just- I was looking at that time, I was like... Wait, that's not something, is it? It is not, so... I like the change that you don't have to worry about lives in this particular area. That makes it a lot easier to deal with. Uh, well, I mean, I made it over here. Um... Okay, so that's for some gems. If I can get the thing over there. I mean, I'm, I'm having a good time right now. I'm not tilted yet. So... I can see if I can figure out how to... How to get that little dork over there. Maybe we can do it. So... Um... I feel like I gotta jump with you, though. Ooh. Uh, oh, that would have been the opportunity to do it. Well, I got them, but... Hmm. This one feels... Very... Weird... To do. Ooh, okay. Well, we screwed that up. Yeah, I feel like I gotta kind of hover in the air right here. And then that'll, like, shoot you. Oh. Or maybe not. Maybe I grab you out of the air and then continue falling to the left, to the right. Throw you. And then... Nope, I didn't press the button again fast enough. The platforming I can do is just getting these, like, weird gems right here. Um, that's the main problem. I mean, considering how many gems we've gotten thus far, I do think this level is very long. Um, I do think that is a crazy long level. Oh, I didn't press A. Damn. Yeah, the platforming itself, like, sans collecting the gems, because the col collecting the gems always adds a bit more difficulty to any challenge in Klonoa. But just platforming alone, not so bad so far. Uh, that, I was, I'm pretty sure that was it. What I was doing right there. Um, like, maybe I'm wrong? You don't come low enough for me. Uh, okay, we've seen me bash my head at this a bunch. Let, let me just see with, uh, like, kind of just sitting here and concentrating if I can maybe make anything happen. I, I, I'm, it's not the biggest deal to me, but like I said, I'm not tilted yet, and if I'm not tilted, I might as well try to do some of the other little challenges to see if I can do them. I already missed some gems in here because I didn't grab those three that were in that previous room, so uh, I'm not going to be winning any awards for this or anything, but uh, I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm successfully staying in the air pretty long, but yeah, I mean, I'll give it a few more shots. 
It is interesting that you specifically reset your flutter jump after taking damage. I wonder if there's any points in the games, possibly with some of these challenges, where they that's intentional. They want you to take a hit to get your flutter jump back to make it over a gap or something. Eh, okay, I, I don't really think I'm making any progress here. I don't even really see the solution to the puzzle. Like, I think I kind of see it, but it looks like the implementation would be so hard that I it just doesn't seem worth it since I don't have any of the other gems. Or I don't have all of the other gems, rather. If I had all the other gems already, I would sit here and try to bash my head against this until I got it, but this is like some Celeste Strawberry level shit um, where you just have to sit here and do it for a while until you get it, so let's just uh, progress onwards. If I can do it, maybe I should have taken the W that time I made over the, made it over there instead of like just jumping off, because now I seemingly can't do it again. Let's just take it slow. There we go. All I had to do was shut up. It really is amazing how how big the LP tax is. Oh. Okay, I didn't even do that the intended way, but we made it. <laughs> I just totally skipped the little balloon we could have hung on to. Okay, yeah, I mean, like I said, very tame so far. I do like that these gym dorks are here, um, because that's one of the more unique mechanics we've gotten recently. Uh, in this game, like, it's one of the more interesting, unique ones, I would say. They do a lot of cool stuff with it. It, le like, leads to a lot of, uh, puzzle solving and just all kinds of stuff. Don't super know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I was gonna try and grab that dork. Um... Yeah, that doesn't work. So why am I even grabbing you here? Oh, that, that didn't work out for me. Oh, do I need to have you? Well, no, I can float over you. Um, I mean, I can grab one of you dorks and throw you right there. Like, what is the point of going down into that little balloon thing down there? I'm perplexed. Like, there, there's probably some kind of reward at the very end of this room if you can, well, you know, I say some kind of reward. Probably uh, some gems at, like, the end of this room if you can successfully get this dork over there. I mean, obviously I could do something like this. Uh, that doesn't get me all the way over there, though. Okay. I mean, l let's at least go see what's over here, yeah? Like, what's actually happening over here? I don't even see a crystal to use you on. So why do you exist? Because we get another gym dork over here. I actually don't know why you exist. I didn't see a crystal up there. Weird. Uh, never mind. I thought that, that you know, there was going to be a red crystal over here that allowed me to access something. But it doesn't actually seem like that is the case. Weird. Okay, there it is. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Um... Eh, uh, man, yeah. That's fine. Maybe we can do the gym thing here? Ooh, that one seems like impossible to get, though. Like, get up here with? Uh, no, actually, no, it's not. We can do this, this. I mean, I'm sure it's not, you know, impossible. <laughs> I just mean impossible for me. Uh, so grab you, do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, that's how we get over there. Okay, I mean, maybe I can do something with this. There we go. So... Can you eat an armored moo? I... 
don't for the life of me know. I, I really don't. Uh, I feel like I need to eat you. And then... So let's do that. That. Get me over there. Okay. And then I can do this. And... Uh, I don't think that's high enough. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's like supercharged now, but, um... Huh. Uh, can I do that? Grab you- oh, okay, no. Wow, I didn't know there was like a fourth level. But apparently there is. So how do I get it high enough to... Get over there. I feel like I need to get rid of this dork. Right? That seems to be the case. So, let's do that. Okay, well, we're gonna have to redo this whole rigmarole again. That's fine. But yeah, I, I feel like I can actually do this one. Where, as with some of the other ones, I just straight up didn't understand what I was attempting to do. With this one, I at least... I get it. You know? Oh god. Okay, well that was... Incorrect. How unfortunate. Boom. Oh god, so was that. That was also incorrect. Jeez. Please, don't do that. Okay, up here, up here. Okay, nope, screwed it up. Alright, maybe, maybe I should just attempt this off screen now. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see this anymore. Eh, I can't consistently get this to work again, so let's just progress. As I've been over, I, I'm not getting the, the gems anyway, so it's fine. It's whatever. We'll just, uh, proceed. Uh, so we just gotta go up like this and give me your life. And take me out. There we go. Bye-bye, gems. Sorry I'm bad. Alright, so... Oh, look at all these stupid Momet statues. Okay, this one actually seems like it might be re what? No, never mind. Once again. Not required. Oh, I thought that was gonna work. I almost got up there. Almost. Hmm. I mean, I felt like I was on the right track with this one. Didn't mean to screw that up. I mean, I'll still give them a shot. I'm not gonna <clears throat> be like, oh no, screw this. I've given up on one gym, so I'm not gonna try and get any more. I'll still try and get some. The problem being, I just don't know how to get uh, up here fast enough. I guess I can maybe reach that one if I time my grab, right? No. It feels like you just gotta get up there crazy fast. Okay, there we go. See, that's what I was trying to do. Now, the question is... How do I successfully grab one of you? I guess it's just don't miss. I missed. Okay, well, I finally managed to do it. And then that happened. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that was way easier. Gotcha. Okay, see, I got this one. Easy peasy. Gotcha. Cool. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, I see what I need to do here, I believe. So get me over here. And then do this. This. There we go. See, we got some of them. Yeah, like... When the solution's kind of easy for me to input, which this one was, uh, it's not so bad. I just need that. Uh-huh. Oop, I should have fluttered a little bit there. Alright, we're good. Wow, look at that painted-on window. Look at that painted-on window. <laughs> just painted right on. Good job, Momet. Uh-huh. Okay, death. Yeah, they really like this, uh, this gym creature thing here with the crystals. 
and all that. Like I said, it's it's a pretty unique mechanic. One of the more unique things I would say is in Klonoa and this game in general. Why are you not jumping when I grab you? Why are you not being double jumped into the pit? Are you resisting? Klonoa says you must be offered to the pit. You will be offered to the pit. Oh wow, that actually works. Well, more you know. Um. So, huh? Uh huh. I think I maybe see how to do this one too. Possibly. Uh, so if we hit you, then I get over here. Yeah, I, I think we can totally do that. I don't know where I'm getting this thing, though. Like, where am I depositing you? It seems like we're really, really far away from whatever the exit could be for this. So... Uh... Uh-huh. Eh. I don't, I don't even see where the... where the actual point of this is yet, so maybe we should just continue. I don't even know if people want to see me bash my head against this when I could just blitz right through it. I imagine people want to see a little bit of it, but uh... Uh-huh. I thought I could just barely make that with my ring, but no. Boom. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Get you... Okay, whatever. Um, hi. Uh... Huh. Okay, we caught it. Yeah, see, where does that crystal... Where was that crystal dork ever going to go? I legitimately don't see where you were ever going to be deposited. There's no way I can make you all the way over there. Maybe the crystal idiots being here doesn't technically mean there's going to be a crystal that you have to get your way through. Maybe they're just put in here sometimes for variety. I don't know. That seems wrong, but... Uh, I don't know. Who am I to judge? Uh, owie. I'll take that hit. Gets me over here. Gets me to this. Uh, beam me up, please. Okay, obviously I want to get you the time. So, okay, that just killed me. I was gonna try to get to the other side of you, so I must have to. I must have to kill that giant moo, or at least knock its armor off so I can inflate it. So. Maybe that's something I need to look into doing. I screwed that up. Jeez. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure people can tell I'm relatively calm through this entire thing. Like I said, I, I'm not sure how long it is. It could be like a billion more rooms, and if it was, then yeah, I would maybe get a little bit tilted towards the end. But right now, I am A-OK. -okay. So, boom. Oh, like, damn it. I missed the ring. It is so much more precise than I always think it needs to be. Like, you really gotta be spot on with this thing. Alright, uh... Do this again. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh-huh. Get me up. Just get me up here this way. Uh-huh. Okay, I've taken a little bit of damage here. Uh... So, when I get up here, can I throw that at you? Yes. And then I can inflate you. That's what I'm supposed to do. Whoop. And I died. That's fine, though. Checkpoints have been obtained. So... Get me up here, and then... Whoop. So, up here, and... Whoa! My jump didn't go off. Oh, I, I jump like, just barely ahead of you, so I have to adjust a little bit. Get that. Okay, float. Oh, you didn't spawn fast enough. I could have grabbed, uh, Electric Dork. 
I guess Electric Dork is kind of a more the other unique thing for Klonoa 2 in particular. God, it's really hard to get these double jumps sometimes. My, I just failed the inputs. Uh, I suppose that's the other unique thing with, uh... Okay, you know what? We're gonna redo that. Get me up there, please. There we go. Kind of... God. Recovering can be so hard. Yeah, when you screw up, recovering can be really hard. It feels like it's better just to take the death so you can start back from square one. Ah. Failing my inputs here. You have to press A so fast after you press X for so many of these that it's really hard to pull off sometimes consistently, like, without dropping an input. It is difficult. It's just not nearly as difficult as I thought it was going to be. I expected some of the nightmare fuel that I dealt with in, like, Meat Boy and, you know, Celeste and stuff like that. That stuff is nightmare fuel for me. This is kind of just wholesome and fairly simple at the moment. Uh, uh, damn it. Stupid failed inputs. If you lose just a little bit of a height, Klonoa should just go ahead and sign his life away. Just accept death. Because, uh, you're not getting out of there. Damn it. See, it's times like that where I either do my input too quickly and it doesn't register it, like, correctly, or I do it just, like, a little bit too late, and I lose just enough height for Klonoa to just be fucked. Like, it really feels like it's dropping my input occasionally, but I've mentioned before my struggles with my, uh, controller. I swear my controller drops A inputs sometimes. It's a thing that I believe happens. Oh, I wasted my flutter there. Whoopsie. Well, this is definitely the room that's taking me the longest, I guess. So you have that distinction area. God, and then they take so long to respawn. And yeah, sometimes that just doesn't work like I want it to. Please just work! Okay. There we go. Get me up there. And stay up there, please. Uh huh. Ah, this is making my hand hurt. A lot. <sighs> yeah, having to constantly juggle yourself up like that. Just murder me, please. Thank you. Yeah, it's, ma it's making my hands cramp, having to constantly do X and A like that. This is definitely the hardest not, like, going for the gym's room that I've had to do. Most of the time, it's not crazy difficult unless you're going for the gym's, but... This is giving me hand cramps. Just because of the movement required. God... Damn, it sucks when that happens. It sucks so much, you just lose that little bit of height. Ah, that was almost it right there. Someone mentioned that you, like, keep your momentum if you grab enemies, like, while you're going up, so you can kind of keep your speed. And I'm trying to utilize that a little bit here. And it basically just means I have to do my inputs faster and more precisely. Which is hard to do. Fuck me! I refuse. Oh, bonk! 
bonk! No bonk! Fuck you, bonk! <laughs> oh, that is a bonk! <laughs> I don't even care. That was hilarious. I was right there. And the bonks. <laughs> Alright, you got me, bonk. I hope you- I hope I caved your head against that ceiling hard enough to- to make you work with me here, Klonoa. There we go. Nailed it! There was an enemy I could've grabbed there, but I'm good. There was like one of the little- Wow, really? No way! What the hell? You gotta be joking me. There's no way that was it. There's no way that was it. I was expecting so much worse. I had an easier time with that than I did House of Fun, I feel like. Okay. I was expecting to be crying this episode, but... I mean, here we are. Not too bad, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, hell. Um, wow. I will take it. Clear Chamber of Horrors, go to, a meta go to a med house. Cool. I mean, yeah, I didn't get all the gems, but I, I expected more difficulty. How can this be true? No one's been able to do this before. You cleared my super extreme challenge. I don't know why I'm reading it, sorry. Habit from all the other games where I always read dialogue. Shabi da boo to you too. You know what, we met? You're okay. The house of- uh, the, the- the chamber of horrors was not quite as horror as I thought it was going to be. So what is- what is the track? Is it explosive band? It must be that, right? I mean, that's the music that plays in that place, so... Alright. Yeah, I mean, that really wasn't bad at all. Like, that was, quite frankly, fun. Um... So... Why don't I go in here? I mean, if I really wanted to suffer, I could try to go for the gyms, but I think I'm good. I mean, I, the, I've i been recording for 50 minutes. Most of the time I spent recording was trying to get some of the gyms that were really hard and just kind of bashing my head against that. But that wasn't bad at all, so... I mean... Let's do the boss fight, why not? There's probably a final vision, too, if I had to guess. Like there was in the previous game. That's a Zora. <laughs> Shadow Klonoa. ルフォポ。ルプレマニアナパクロア。レアアウダ。ヘプストノ。フィグナベリオ。ユム、ヌルティアアウダ。オニナナ。マニフェプルト。マニラダ。フィグナベリオ。ルフィアラウルムトフィ
Wow, Baguji was just impersonated by everyone. I really can't get over how much you look like me. I mean... Huh. Huh, okay, wait a- wait a second. Is this paralleling... Klonoa's, like, psyche currently as well? Because Klonoa went through some really, really messed up shit in the first game. And Klonoa seems to, like, be different in this game, but that's never been brought up again. And you could chalk that up to, like, oh, you know, they're, they're platformers, they, di they didn't want the, the stories to connect that much. But I think it's more interesting to think about it from the perspective of this is paralleling what Klonoa is going through right now. Klonoa was burying sorrow, and Klonoa is burying all of it, it was burying all of that and just ignoring it. And it might this might make that come to light, and maybe we'll kind of see how Klonoa's reacted to the events of the first game because it was kind of just glossed over. Like at the end, you see Klonoa sad and stuff happens, and then bam. We're into this game. Klonoa's older, seems a bit more mature and grounded, not clearly not as like happy go lucky as um he was in the first game. So it would certainly make sense if he was just trying to bury all of these emotions and hide them from people instead of embracing them. <laughs> It also just strikes me as interesting because it feels like you have the same voice as Klonoa, and you look like Klonoa, so it makes sense to me that this is like the negative emotions Klonoa has, and this is sorrow manifesting itself so that it can strike back at Klonoa for constantly bottling it up. <laughs> Let's go. On a board. On the board. Vision start. Terminus of Tears, the King of Sorrow. Oh, all right, let's go. This could be a cool end to the episode here. Oh, you look different. What in the world is that? Okay, we got spikes. <clears throat> um, do I want to get whatever that was? It was like a red button, weird looking thing. Do I want to grab this? I think I do. And I even did that for style points. I even did a flip. Do a flip! Okay, I screwed it up, I screwed it up that time, but uh... Did these like explode or anything? Uh-huh, got it. So, come here, dork. Let me hit you. So, do I have to hit you while you're kind of going around like- Yeah, I have to aim it now. Okay, I could have maybe gotten that one. You gonna throw some out at me, or am I gonna have to go over here and grab those? Uh-huh. So, spin, spin, spin. Boom. Alright, I could really use some HP right about now. I can't be super risky like I have been earlier. Um, can I just get in? Yeah, I mean, I can get in here like this. Okay, so this is the intended way to do it. Gotcha. Okay, so you actually gotta go in there. So I could have not taken damage and we would have been fine. But, uh, ooh, okay. We barely... Oh. That's fine. That's fine. We know what we're doing a little bit more this time, so I'm sure it can go better. I was kind of just jumping over his grave. Grab and throw enemies. Be sure to dodge the obstacles. Flutter to adjust Klonoa's speed. 
Yeah. We can do that, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. So, we can see the pathways spawn ahead of time. And... Got you. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> I could risk it and go for that one, but there's no point. Let's just take it nice and slow. Now that we know what we're doing. Oh, oh I could have... Uh, okay, that works. <laughs> Cheeky. Got it. Boom. Gotcha. Okay. Wow, this is an easy one to grab. Jeez. Uh-huh. Bang. Whoop. Oh, got it. Jump over that. Don't need it. Uh, ooh, okay, you tried to come at me, but I don't recommend that. I was holding a... whatever that is. Whatever this is. <laughs> uh-huh. Grab you. Alright, one more hit and we should be good. Not too difficult. Yeah, bye-bye. But we have a second phase, obviously. So, let's see what the second phase is gonna do for me. Yeah. Or we don't have a second phase? We have to. Yeah, that's totally the same voice actor that Klonoa uses. You isolated yourself from the world, thinking you're the only one who's sad. You move for Antonasha. You move for Antonasha. The Pope in Nava. Hmm. Kinda, sorta, how Klonoa's been isolating himself from a lot of the goings on here. In the early parts of this, someone mentioned that Klonoa. I, and I mentioned in the first part that the Klonoa just kinda seems along for the ride, like not super invested in this. Probably because Klonoa knows this is just a dream. So Klonoa's also isolating himself. Yeah. I mean. Hey, it's probably very obvious stuff, or I'm just totally coming to wrong conclusions, but... Look at this boss arena. <laughs> King of Sorrow, let's go. Um, okay. Okay, you attacked me with that. Can I grab these? I can. And then... Do what exactly? Do I hit these things? I do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whoop, we lost it. Okay. I gotta re-grab one. Uh-huh. Give. So... Owie. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay. It is very easy to take damage here. Um, stop and grab the bits. Use the wind bullet to stop the bits in their tracks and then grab them from behind. Grab the bits and use them to attack. Okay, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Whoop. Okay, gimme. Boom. Boom. Okay, that's, that's down. Boom. And then, boom. E yep. Uh-huh. Uh, whoop. Okay, we lost it. That's fine. You only have, you only have two things left. So, we probably got this. Alright. Gotta wait for you to turn back around this way. Okay, that... 
You're going very fast. Oh, I tried to hit you there. No. Okay, now you're coming along this way. Gotcha. All right, got an itch on my face. Whoop. Oh, just bumped my mic. I'm so sorry. All right. So final phase here. And there's just two, two thingamadoohickeys. Uh-huh. Okay, so I can stop them like that. That's what I was talking about when it said stop the, the bits. Whoop. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's it. Okay, I have one HP left. Three phases? I honestly wouldn't be surprised by three phases. Nope, vision clear. There we go. All right. Rakuldu. Wim. Wimna. Rakuldu. Yeah, sorrow, a cry for help. My god, it's gonna... Uh, god, this is gonna be so depressing if we finally see Klonoa kind of come back out of this, like, funk that Klonoa has been in throughout this basically entire game. And then Klonoa, like, basically never gets another mainline game. You know, for, I mean, the people that have been waiting on this for many, many years, so... God, if that's where this is going, and we finally get to see Klonoa happy and smiling again at the end, and then th that third game just never came for years. Bandai Namco, you need to get your ass on this. Dad. Didn't notice that. <laughs> I guess you're just meaning like personality slash like refusing to give up wise or something. Okay. Is that actually it or I'm expecting more? Yeah. 
リエラ。ねクナフォームのセイン、ピナトナ。ダフ。ビルニアンテンレジ。シストア、アトリオン、マシュウィン、ウィンダン。ユムアフルーラーリオノフォータとルヤエムフォアタニヌレスイナータエンファナエンレジアパンリグフォープフナテッタダトロウウルプルアドウィナフィルトルトラーファンリーナーニャンルネティアセイカーファナクラーライムルルトラ Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if Klonoa does. <laughs> I mean, there has to be a place where Klonoa actually lives, but um, this may have been mentioned before or something. But I'm, I'm wondering if Klonoa is just constantly entering these worlds and can't wake up in his own world. And like, it, it must be so awful. It's like moving, it's like you're constantly moving. You make some friends, you forge some relationships, but you know as soon as the entire thing ends that you're just gonna have to forget about all of these people. Or not forget about them, but you'll never see them again, which is rough. Go. What? <laughs> フナテサンエレンジェクアラナシアウィムリスタリスタリスタナシカノフナテラはい。
to never have another mainline game for a crazy amount of years. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Now that I've actually played these games, they are so good. Like, obviously the first game was a little bit more rough than this one, but this one brings everything together and makes it feel so good. And the story is more interesting, the characters are more interesting, there's stuff going on with Klonoa. It's just really, really good. This is a super, super good game and a super good series, and I'm very sad I never got to experience it when I was younger, because then I would definitely be one of those people that is just all about this. But I totally missed it when I was younger, but God, is it a really, really good game. Bandai Namco, hopefully you decide to release another one of these. I think this sold very, very well, so I think they should see that and be like, hey, maybe people want another Klonoa game. Because gosh, I feel like Klonoa would be so successful as like a, a platforming mascot for, you know, someone. I mean, I, I guess Bandai Namco, but you know, if it was going to be exclusive to any console or anything, if you have to get backing from Sony or Nintendo or some shit to to get a third one made, do it! I don't care, I just want to see a third game! <laughs> so... I, I... I just... It would be nice to see a third one now. Because I feel like... There's a lot more they can do... with the character. There's more they can do with platforming, they more they can do with the puzzles and everything, and... This game came out on the PS2. So... Think about, like, all the modern things we could have... in a new Klonoa game. That would be amazing. Like, would it still be a 2D platformer? I, I think it would probably have to be, unless they were doing like a total reboot, because being a 2D platformer and, you know, being able to interact with the background and foreground, I feel like is so integral to Klonoa's unique identity that if you took some of that away, it would probably lose something. But at the same time, if you did make it more of a you know, like modern platformer, like a lot of other things are. It would lose some of its identity, but it would be more approachable to more people, which would then maybe make it a bigger brand. I definitely think it would lose something if it if it went away from the 2D platformer roots. But, I mean, like I said, whatever gets us a new game, damn it. Whatever gets us a new game, okay? Because I want to see more of what they can do with this, and it's... It is just a really cool, unique experience. I did not expect to finish this today. Um, I expected, like, the final boss and final stage to take a whole day of recording. I expected whatever the House of Fun Part 2 was to take, like, hours off of my life. But, uh, they really weren't that bad. I'd say they really weren't that bad. I'd even venture to say... Good morning? Hi! You know my name. It's... I mean, it's like... It's like 4 a, 4.30 a.m., so yeah, I mean, it is a good morning. Okay, so is that it? Let's, let's, let's go into continue here. So, story complete. Is there... Is there post-game stuff? Yes, resume playing with this data. Movie viewer is now available. Unlocked hard difficulty, so... Okay, yeah, no, that's it. There's no, like... Final Vision or anything. I guess the Final Vision stand-in for this was the Chamber of Horrors. So, yeah. The difficulty? I, like I said, and I'm not saying this in a bad way, it was a little bit overhyped for me. I was expecting so much worse. Like, I was expecting, you know, like, fucking Seaside Celeste and, like, Dark World Meat Boy level difficulty. But it really wasn't. It really wasn't that bad. Um, obviously it would have been a lot more difficult if I had went for the gems, but... It was not bad, and this game has earned a special place in my heart. It's gone there with all the other platforming games and mascots that I love, like Mario and Spyro and... Crash is there too, and a lot of other things. So Klonoa's joined the ranks, and I'm very, very happy to have Klonoa there, so... Thank you for joining me on this adventure. It was a very cool one. I hope people got an interesting perspective from someone that's never touched these games before and knew nothing about them. Seeing someone play through them blind. I hope that offered an interesting perspective for the people that grew up with them. 
And yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. If you're interested in other platformers by me, if you want to see me bumble through platformers more for some reason, um, I do have a list of uh, all the platformers and like Metroidvanias and JRPGs and all kinds of things that I've played on my channel, if you want to browse that. But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. Actually, wait, 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 let me, let me check something first. Let me see if I got all the Steam achievements, because I know I was close. Yes, I absolutely did get all of the Steam achievements. This is the second game ever that I have gotten every single achievement in on the channel. The other one being Superland Six Inches Under. So that's a cool, that's a cool thing too. I, it's nice to have a another 100% completion game on Steam. So yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. Thank you so so much for watching. It was very very fun, and people were really supportive and everything with the playthrough. So. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for something new.